From KETK News, you're watching East Texas Live. Joining us now are Anna Barnston and Victoria Benny from the East Texas Crisis Center. They're here to talk about Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Now, ladies, hello, welcome. Hi, thank Hi, you for thank having me. Hi, yeah, of course. Um, so how can someone know if their relationship is healthy or abusive? It's a good question. Yeah, it's a really good question. We definitely are being talking with a lot of our community this month about uh, paying attention to behaviors that probably are not healthy interactions in a partner or in a relationship. It could be also at work or with family or with friends. So we are start inviting people to notice the interaction, if it's respect, if there is respect involved, if there is also safety, if they are doing things that make us feel uncomfortable or not safe with them, uh, or there's no consent involved, if you are not uh, yeah. being asked first, uh, if that's okay or not okay with you, what else you can add? Ab thinking about abusive or red flags for relationship behaviors, that would be any kind of pressuring or intimidation, any kind of isolation, a lot of put downs. Of course we know if there's any kind of physical assault, that's hello, mm -hmm. abuse. But a lot of times it's not physical, it's the like verbal put downs and the intimidation and the you can't hang out with your friends, no you can't see your family anymore. Those kind of tactics, it's kind of more sly and underhanded, but those are really what to look out for. Mm -hmm. And I know with the pandemic, a lot of people have been home with their abusers. What are some maybe tips that you have for those people struggling? That's a really good question. And we want to encourage people, um, if it's safe, uh, if, if your phone or your computer is not being tracked, you know, look up texaslawhelp.org. They have really good resources for that. Um, but they do encourage things like if you can keep some extra stash of money to um, if you're deciding to leave, keep that in a safe place, maybe with a friend or a family mm -hmm. member that you do trust. Mm -hmm. um, having important documents like birth certificates, socials, um, medicine prescriptions, mm -hmm. have an extra month supply of medicine prescriptions. Um, have these conversations over the phone, like an old school telephone conversation instead of texting or like emails because yeah. those are easily tracked. Um, and else? also having a good communication with safe people that they know that they can communicate if something is not going right and maybe having a cohort that they can communicate that they may need help or something and because of all those difficulties of for them to reach out that's why a lot of organizations like us uh, is using chat instead of calling because they know that if someone who is abusive and they are no safe at home they're not going to be able to make calls when their perpetrators are at home. So yeah. that's a good option as well. So yeah. I guess lastly, um, any other advice that you'd have for someone who's struggling, maybe something that someone would need to hear today who's watching? Mm. That you're not alone. There is, there is a lot of options out there that we are inviting you to reach out to chat with us, our etcc.org, or call our office number, 903-509-2526. There is always someone there to help out or give you some options and resources when you're ready to do what you need to do. Yeah, and I would just add, it's never your fault. It's not anything that you can do to make someone be abusive or controlling or mm -hmm. say mean things or hurt you. That is not your fault. That's a choice that somebody else makes. And another thing too, especially in East Texas, um, it's not your cross to bear an abusive relationship. Like there is, there's so much we can do outreach wise for religious abuse in our community. That happens a lot. And we just want to encourage that um, that's not part of like the plan uh, and you're not alone too you know you can talk to safe religious people or call our office um, or a friend you really are not alone follow us on social media too because we post a lot of stuff that our community would want to want to share to survivors of domestic violence and we're on Instagram and Facebook so yeah. ETX Crisis Center. All right, well thank you guys so much for joining us today we're really appreciative to have you here you know to talk about this really important topic and um, coming up on East Texas Live, something out of an old Western, the latest on the Mountain Shooting World Finals.